Hey guys and welcome to devlog 12 of farm sugar a village story. Uh in this devlog we will be talking about uh, beyond game development. In our previous vlogs we have seen that I've been only talking about uh game development in general but uh, this vlog goes beyond game development. Of course it will also cover the part where we see regular game development as what we have progressed from mm, compared to what uh, it was in the previous devlog but I think uh, uh, uh the aspect of uh, what leads to making a game development uh, studio in india uh, what happens on a day to day life of a game dev uh, is something that is missing i want to address those uh, areas of game development uh, with this video i'm karthik i'm 31 years old i'm a full time game dev i don't have a side hustle or anything i'm just doing this full time because uh, running a private limited company in india uh, does require you to do beyond what you tend to do you do have to attend to a lot of paperwork if you have the intent to either start a game development studio in india you can uh, opt for any any kind of uh, company structure mostly i've seen is basically a private limited or a limited liability i personally have a private limited company uh, in case you want to open your own game studio you can uh, contact your ca and they will guide you through if what keeps me motivated is like you know having some pets around having some family if you're in your game dev journey there should be some sort of a support system other than just the uh, dopamine effect that in, in is generated by looking at your own work it's fulfillment of course but other than that i think if your personal life which a lot of people don't have in control of is you know decently f- well then i think uh, uh, your game development in general will go a lot better because there is nothing affecting your mood or or your work per se if you're planning to uh, be a full time dev by quitting your job I think uh, you should also consider these aspects where you know if if you do not have a support structure whether it's parents or like a significant other I would suggest you sort those areas first before ever plunging into uh, you know starting your own game development studio like a solo dev I encourage you to have a pet which would you know keep your morale high the reason why I got started with game development is because uh, Indian government had come up with a cohort uh, which is by STPI It, it's called image uh, fourth cohort uh, stpi stands for uh, software technology parks of india and uh, they had come up with a cohort last september uh, last lost last august and i had applied for this and got selected while i applied for this I, my company was not registered and uh, because i was like once i pitched my game idea to stpi and then they helped me out in you know, figuring out the all the other things and there's also mentorship uh, involved in this which is great like if you're a first time entrepreneur where you're starting from scratch and you have zero idea about how the industry functions and like what are the different nuances in this i think uh, stpi would you know help you a lot this cohort program we have recently been uh, selected for uh, the uh, for porting our games to xbox thankfully the regional manager of xbox had identified my game and he reached out to me which which i'm very thankful for arjun we have also been selected into xbox's uh, asia game development bootcamp which will take our game to the next level i'm also attending a playstation event next week which i will also feature uh, on this channel and like what goes there of course there's going to be a lot of nda things which i will not be talking about i'll be putting it in a very vague format can't be very particular with that what i usually do is every day when i get up i sometimes watch all these pixel art games or videos to like just uh, improve my art like apart from just doing the pixel art part i'm also doing the project management here project management is more there to just remind you of the you know work that you're doing because since in a small team i don't think it's going to make a massive impact versus like if you have like a team of like 12 to i don't know like you know 30 team project management does play a crucial part but like when it's a small team i think you more or less know who's doing what the major challenges that we face right now is that my developer responsible for integrating the art animation uh, you know the voice overs and the music is like a full time student still he's a third year engineering student um, his name is kaushik since he's he's a regular college goer we actually take out time during nights where we connect on a discord and then like we work uh, during midnights and uh, fortunately it's f- feasible for most of the team and like everyone is ready to join from home and it's mostly work from home although me and my developer kaushik and the intern stay in the same city we don't often meet It's only during you know some some sort of a discussion where we gather around and then have a small chat 
and yeah so the vision for uh, this the current game palm sugar a village story we are anticipating a launch somewhere around august of 2025 but uh, there are going to be like depending on what kind of challenges we will be facing in uh, coming days it might be a bit earlier or it might get delayed beyond that but like as of now it's very, it's very promising that uh, we will be launching it at in uh, august of 2025 uh, it might seem like a huge time gap right now but like trust me if you are if you are like planning the project it would you you would know like how fast time would fly initially is to make a small game rather than making a big game and then you know spend so much time so you get like a customer feedback with that and then there's a loop of like what went wrong and then you can improve that in your subsequent game so i think uh, my first palm sugar would last for somewhere around 6 to 7 hours of gameplay and i think uh, that will be a decent uh, place to start uh, if you're a new indie studio well i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new on uh, pixel stories please subscribe to my channel and for more game dev updates thanks